Tifu by lying about sensory issues. Background I work at a religious school. I am not C username. I'm fine with this. It causes zero problems. However, for obvious reasons, most of the staff at this school are members of this denomination. With a few of the older staff, they also have assumed that I am a member of this denomination. I've just gone along with it because I don't think the intricacies of my religious beliefs are appropriate staff room chat and my reasons for not believing are personal enough that I don't really want to share them. This leads us to the start of our story the day before Ash Wednesday, and I am the only person in the staff room except one of the people who has consistently since day one assumed that I am denomination. We are idly chit-chatting, and because I'm relatively new, I'm picking her brains for lesson ideas to fit in with the weird school schedule the next day. Here is where the FU begins co-worker my kids are going to have to settle for insert brand name of prepackaged reading comprehension program we use tomorrow morning, because there's no way I'm getting up any earlier to set anything up. Mio? Cow it takes me half an hour to drive from church to school in the morning, so that's early enough. Are you going before school? Me slight now is not the time for this conversation panic setting in. I don't drive, so probably not, getting here on the bus is enough. Cow oh, do you want a lift? Coworker knows that we live close by, because I have a large and a ham, friendly dog that she's seen me out with many times. By friendly I mean that he has repeatedly peed on this lovely woman's flowers while making excessive eye contact with her. But I digress. Perks of small town living. Me thinking oh crap, this is not going the direction I was hoping for and I really don't want to have this conversation now what? Uh, I really appreciate the offer and this is a little embarrassing. But I have a real thing about stuff being on my face. So I don't usually participate because I can't help but rub it off. Cow oh that's fine honey me thinking thank goodness the interaction is saved yeah just not my thing the conversation moves on i think i've saved it all good until today we don't have school on friday and since it's the day before spring break we have some fun activities planned including face painting i am childishly actually kind of stoked about the day and have promised a particular set of kiddos that if they meet their targets for the week they can pick something appropriate for me to have painted on my face yeah yeah bribery is bad but these kids are a tough audience and it's worked a treat. They've been brilliant. I'm all set to have Spider Bat Super Goblin Man 3 the Lego version on my face all afternoon. We're outside, in the school playground, with the head teacher going over expectations for the day when Cow comes up to me. Cow, how's it going? Me great actually. Name, name, and name have been fab all week. Are you going to be getting your face painted with yours or are you on yard sweep general supervision so other teachers can play with their kids? cow super pleased with herself that's why i came over i was on yard sweep and you were with our classes but i swapped us around so you wouldn't have to get your face painted me sinking feeling of clever plans backfiring in my face oh thank you i'll just tell my kids that tldrio 3 11 year olds an alternative prize for good behavior because i am a rubbish liar